Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia. If you've never been here before, but if you have, hi girl, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back. You guys, today I'm proud to announce that I am collaborating with five other amazing YouTubers in the hashtag 14 days of love created by Francisca Rodriguez. The other YouTubers are Francisca Rodriguez, the creator, A Little Piece of Us, Laura Moya, Tracy Montanez, and Veronica. She does amazing vlogs. Be sure to check out their channels. They will all be linked down below for some amazing 14 day content for you guys. Super exciting. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what 14 days of love is. And the simplest way to explain it, it's kind of like Vlogmas where um, we're uploading every single single day leading up to Valentine's Day. The wonderful thing about this is that we all, all the creators, have a free range. We're able to do basically whatever we want and express ourselves. We can do vlogs, we can do Valentine's Day content, just whatever we want and it's for you guys so you guys have entertainment leading up to Valentine's Day and as always I'm always kicking and jumping and screaming to everybody especially small creators to participate in these types of challenges where you have to upload every single day just like vlogmas it's great exposure especially if you're a small creator like myself yes it is challenging to post every single day you don't have to do it every single day but definitely hop on the bandwagon of the 14 days of love because you guys every time you post is another opportunity for exposure another opportunity for your video to blow up that is ideally the ultimate goal right for us small creators we obviously want to make YouTube a career out of it and if you want to participate hop on the bandwagon you guys I highly highly encourage you guys to do so just don't forget to hashtag the 14 days of love so that everybody who searches that title sees your video once again it has another opportunity to blow up and have everybody discover your amazing content alright guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video today I have for you guys a very fun DIY that I actually saw on Pinterest it's called a floating mailbox now you guys I went to Dollar Tree and you can do this floating mailbox craft for five dollars okay five dollars I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything I have and I'll do it with you guys so you can see how easy and simple it is the first thing you want to need is a mailbox this is the one I got they have different variations different sizes at the Dollar Tree um, I personally got a cardboard one but they also have metal ones if you want it to last a few more years I personally wanted to do a tiny one so this is a small mailbox they had there and I personally grabbed it mainly because I am obsessed with this truck right here you guys for every holiday season I absolutely like to have this truck in all of my decor so I got this I got a little heart-shaped box again the smallest one I could find I got a little teddy bear and some chocolate whatever chocolate of you want and for the last like the last dollar I forgot to grab it but this is a candle stand I'm not gonna be using this one because it's too big but I know Dollar Tree has like smaller ones that you can use that'll be the last seller you will need but I forgot to grab it like a dummy and I don't want to go back because you guys unfortunately we um, had COVID so I don't want to go back to the store I realized last minute that I forgot that and I don't want to go back obviously um, so I get a rigged it I DIY myself as you guys know I get packages sometimes here and there so I grabbed the Amazon box cut the side of my Amazon box and then I cut a little strip like this. This is part of like one of the flaps where you, you know, you close it. So this particular one that I am doing, it's a, this thing across is four inches. And each one of these strips is one inch. And I just kind of bent it, you know. And I kind of mimicked this type of thing. But I wanted a small one, of course. So I'm not going to use this one. So this is kind of what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get started. The materials you're going to need is a hot glue gun the glue sticks and perhaps some tape ready let's go ahead and get started this is super easy your kids are gonna love it and it's gonna be some cute decor let's go ahead and bring you guys a little bit down here and right, let's go ahead and get started here's my little DIY thing that I did I'm just going to go ahead and tape this really quickly here Honestly, if I had a little more time, I would have liked to paint this pink, but we just didn't have that time. So, next thing you're going to do, so now I have this right here, right? I'm going to grab the bottom piece of this box. Here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and flip that backwards. And this is going to be our base. I'm just going to go ahead and glue this right here. I'm going to grab some hot glue. Just go ahead and just put this 
all over here. I want to make sure I have enough so that it sticks to my base. I want to make sure I have enough just so that my base is nice and firm. I'm going to go ahead and press this in here. Next, you guys, super easy. Grab this and we're going to stick it on here. All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. We got our base here. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna put it right under here because that's where my chocolates are going, going to fall into. So just like this. Um, this little teddy bear, I kind of want him to be just sitting on the side. So I'm gonna leave him just like that and then I'm gonna start adding in my chocolates. These are personally the chocolates that I got, but you can go ahead and grab whatever little heart shaped chocolate that you want um, so I'm just going to stick these bad boys on I kind of want that one to be standing up let's put one here you kind of want to make the illusion of like a waterfall so I'm kind of going for the illusion to make it like a waterfall so I'm kind of like sticking them in like these weird places. It's like a floating mailbox, right? So this is what it kind of looks like. Super damn adorable. Oh my gosh, this is hella cute, you guys. So cute. Be sure to hold some pressure just so it can stick here. This is what it's looking like so far. Super damn adorable. Let's go ahead and bring you guys back down. So I just placed some chocolates in here. And I have one more little tiny chocolate. And then you can put any little stuffed animal you want next to it as decoration. And then you got some mail. Oh my gosh. Get freaking cute, you guys. Tell me this is not so adorable. Alrighty, guys. And that's going to be it from me. Let me know what you guys thought about this super duper easy DIY floating mailbox waterfall chocolate super duper cute super duper adorable i would definitely put this like in my desk in my like centerpiece something it is just so cute and so adorable as soon as i saw it i fell in love with it that it was so damn adorable if you guys decide to try this out or recreate it don't forget to tag me i will gladly repost you guys on my instagram and without further ado thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys